Okay, so we've talked about the phase velocity and how um, the phase velocity is actually not the same as the particle velocity. That is, if you have a, ma a, a particle and we think about the wave associated with that particle, um, then the phase velocity of that wave is not equal to the actual velocity of the particle as it moves through space. Um, there's another um, uh, velocity that we can define in terms of waves called the group velocity. Okay, the group velocity is defined to be the derivative of the um, angular frequency omega um, per unit wave number. Okay, so it's d omega dk, and we'll see later where this where this comes from. I'm not going to I'm not going to drive it now, but we'll see in a in a lecture or two where this comes from, um, and Again, the group velocity is defined to be um, the speed at which the envelope of a modulation um, uh, moves okay, uh, or propagates. So, for example, if we have some sort of wave which is being modulated in amplitude, so its amplitude is being modulated, and I've drawn the sort of envelope of that modulation in black here, then the group velocity is the velocity um, corresponding to the motion of the envelope and the phase velocity is um, corresponding to the again the velocity of the points of constant phase of the wave. Now um, you may think that these two things have to be the same if they're moving together but the envelope can move and um, and the, the phase can move at a different rate because it basically just means that the that you have a relative motion of the phase in the in the in the in the envelope, but we we may guess that since uh, when they draw the picture like this, this envelope looks somewhat like, you know, the uh, spatial extent of a particle, if you will, um, that that the group velocity is equal to uh, should be equal to the actual particle velocity, and, and we can check that. So, um, so in in, in non-relativistic limit, in the non-relativistic limit, okay, we have that um, just from the definition of the uh, group velocity, which is equal to if if you remember, we have omega is equal to two pi e over h and k is equal to 2 pi p over h. So it's d 2 pi e over h d 2 pi p over h. Okay, and obviously we can cancel the 2 pi's, we can cancel the h's, and it's d e d p. Okay, and this is equal to, um, if we use the classical expressions for um, kinetic energy and momentum in particular, we can write that the kinetic energy, or E, is equal to P squared over 2M, classically. Okay, so in the non-relativistic limit. Okay, and so that means that uh, the group velocity is equal to uh, D P squared over 2M DP, which is just 2p over 2m, which is equal to p over m. And that, of course, is equal to v, <coughs> because p equals m is equal to mv. And so classically, we see that the, that the group velocity is, in fact, equal to the velocity of the particle. And now we can do the same sort of calculation in the relativistic limit. OK, so here I've written it down in the relativistic limit, where I've um, use the relativistic expression for the total energy. And uh, if you um, you end up with this expression, and uh, the, if we cancel the twos, OK, and we realize that p is equal to gamma mv, OK, times c squared. And this is just uh, the total energy. So this is gamma mc squared. Then this is equal to v. Okay, so again, we see in the relativistic limit that the group velocity is also equal to the particle velocity as um, it, we might expect sort of intuitively.